Hello, hope you guys are doing well. Let's talk about the moon. All right, so the moon is Earth's largest natural satellite, meaning that it orbits around the Earth. It is a satellite. So a satellite is any object that orbits something else, and the moon is the largest natural satellite. It rotates on its axis and revolves around Earth once every 27.3 days. So it takes about 27 days for the moon to get around us on Earth. So does the moon glow? I mean, yeah, no, it's the light from the sun, okay? The moon is just basically a giant rock in the sky, all right? It's a huge, huge, huge rock. A lot of people believe that the moon might have been potentially a piece of Earth that had gotten hit off by a big asteroid and then stuck in the, in the atmosphere, or excuse me, stuck in the uh, gravitational pull of the Earth, and now it orbits the Earth. There are a lot of different theories about how the moon got up in the sky. So it is light from the sun, though. It is not shining, all right? As the moon completes one rotation, it travels once around the Earth. Therefore, we always see the same side of the moon, all right? I know it's a little complicated, but here we are always seeing the same side of the moon because we are. it is rotating as we are um, going around it. So it's rotating at the same speed around the Earth because the moon has a rotation and a revolution. Remember the rotation is the moon spinning on its own axis and then it's it's in time with us so we see the same side. So here are the phases of the moon. So when the moon is between the Earth and the Sun we are seeing the um, dark side of the moon. That would be a new moon. That's like when you say oh there's no moon tonight. Well that's just because we're in the new moon phase. Then you have waxing crescent, first quarter, Waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent. So you can see that we have crescent, gibbous, gibbous, crescent. Okay. So waxing means that it's it's glow, it's it's moving across. So it's growing brighter. It's or you're seeing more and more of it. So as you can see this top part. All right. If this was a clock, this was twelve o'clock. All right. This top part, three o'clock to nine o'clock up here. All right. It's the, you read the moon right to left. So you actually see the light moving across right to left. So as it's waxing, it's moving the light right to left. And you see waxing first quarter and waxing gibbous, full moon. And then when it's waning, waning gibbous and waning crescent, that's when, that's when you are losing the light until it's a new moon. So the gibbous shows more of the light versus the crescent. Crescent is a smaller piece. And then your first and third quarters when it's just about halfway full, and then we have a uh, full moon right there. So like I said, your homework, another homework assignment would be to go out and take a picture of the moon. You should see, I know what you should be seeing, um, but let me see what you guys can guess that you're seeing this week. So there's just another picture of, of the moon. All right, the sunlight, remember, whatever side the sun is on, okay, Hint, hint, this might help you on your uh, worksheet. So whatever side the sun is on, you then move, you, you have the new moon and then you move from there, okay? Again, another picture of it. Hint, hint, this should look familiar. All right, so here's a video right up here. This is a good YouTube link that explains the moon. You can, you can see it a little bit more, uh, better explanation um, with like visuals and stuff, which would be really helpful. And then this is a really catchy song. Um, I hope you blast it. It's a super good song. All right, so the moon is very minimal amounts of water on the surface, and the moon has no atmosphere. Temperatures are from, go from very cold to very hot, negative 130 degrees to 170 degrees Celsius. There's no atmosphere to hold it in, so hold in the heat. So it's, it's very cold, very extreme, and then very hot. So it has many craters, mountains, and valleys. All right. And there's another video shortly explaining some things about the moon. An eclipse happens when an object X in space gets between the sun and another object Y. An object X casts a shadow on an object Y. All right, I know that sounds terrifying and the, our dog looks very confused. All right, that's actually not my dog, but it looks kind of like my parents' dog. All right, so here's a lunar eclipse. This is when the Earth, object X, gets in front of object Y and object X casts a shadow on Y. So the so the Earth in a lunar eclipse, when the moon passes through Earth's shadow, right, and Earth casts a shadow on the moon. That's because the sunlight is bending around the Earth and the Earth is bigger and blocking out the moon. And then you can get some really cool moon imagery like this. So if you see like a red moon or a blood moon or something, a lot of the time that's because there is a lunar eclipse occurring. We are kind of blocking that light. 
right? And then a solar eclipse is just the opposite. A solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, and the moon casts a shadow on the earth. Those are more rare than a lunar eclipse, right? So lunar eclipses are pretty common, but the solar eclipses are pretty rare. So we had that full eclipse back in 2017. I think you guys uh, would have been in second grade at that point, or first grade. Um, and I hope you guys got, got a chance to see that. That was pretty neat to go out and see. And it looks like that. Very dangerous, though. Never look straight up into the sun, but you can see what a solar eclipse looks like. And then this is just a fun little video at the end. Do you think we could ever live on the moon? Uh, this is something for you. This will help you answer that last question on your on your paper. Talk to your family members, see if they would ever want to live on the moon. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool exercise just to see what what type of things we would need if we ever wanted to live on the on the moon and it's a good question to ask yourself what what would we need what are the things that i would want to have what are the things we would need and just before we go um it is the idea was that in a few years that nasa would be building a lunar base and hopefully get some people living on the moon um so it's not actually too far out of the realm of possibility some of you could be working on that lunar base one day so hopefully you enjoyed the moon notes hopefully you learned something about it and have fun be safe and wash your hands. See ya!